Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to transfer the look of your WooCommerce shop from a grid view to a list view just like this one. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so that's very easy to achieve and we are going to use the wonderful WooCommerce product table plugin by Bound2. You can get it from the official website for full price for $99 or you can get the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. I will leave you both links in the description box down below. Once you download it, uh, whether from us or from the official website, you will need to go back into your WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. Simply navigate into the plugin screen, click on add new and upload plugin and then activate it. Once you activated the plugin, as you can see here, it's active and ready to go. Click on the settings button and it will take you directly to the products tab and into the products table section. The plugin is very easy to use and straightforward. Uh, you have many options to choose from. For example, just to activate it really quick, let's decide that we would like to activate it on the search page and the shop page. Once I check those two pages, I will scroll down and save the changes. I will go back to my shop page, refresh it, and I can see that it's changed from grid view to a list view. And that looks very good. You have many options here inside the list. First of all, you have five different columns. If we'd like to add more columns, we'll need to go back to the settings page. And here we can decide what are the columns that we would like to add. Right now, those are the existing five, uh, but we can use any of these variables on the screen to add our desired column. So for example, let's use the SKU column. I will add it to the left of the list because I would like it to appear on the left side. And let's say I would like also to change the description length from 15 words to 25 words. And before uh, saving the changes, let's check some of the other customization options. For example, if we would like to change the search box from above the table to below the table, we can change it here. I will choose to display above and below. And again, there are so many customization options regarding every part of this table, which is amazing. And as I scroll up and down, you can see the different uh, options, how we can modify the table. But let's go back into the table really quick. I would like to see what else we can modify there. Uh, here we can see on the right side that we have the quantity box. It's very useful and I will keep it. However, in case you would like to hide it or remove it, you can also do it from the screen again, from the different customization options under the Add to Cart, just uncheck this box. But I will uh, keep this box checked. Once you're done, just save the changes, refresh the page, and you will see that the table adopted the new changes. It added the SKU column. There is a search box at the top and the bottom, and everything works as expected. Now, because we also enable this list view to our search results, let's just enter a search query into the URL and we can see that the search result displayed in the table. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.